dropping gems on the channel. Folks don't know about that girl. Oops. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashion Edition, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment down below. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today, we're going to be making the viral TikTok music plaque. Look at it. Yes. Now, this is very easy to make, especially if you have a Cricut or a Cameo. It's very easy to make, I promise. You only need a few materials, but I'll let you guys know what you need in the video. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's first go over the materials that you will need to complete this. You will need something like this. This came with one of my decal vinyls, but you can use a credit card or anything. It's, it's just to lay your decal vinyl down and make sure it's flat. You'll need a picture frame, eight by 10 or whatever size you desire. You also need some alcohol and a paper towel or something to clean off the glass. You're going to need Oracle 651 decal paper or whatever decal paper you desire. This is just the brand I use. I don't know which color I'm going to use today, so this is why I have three colors sitting out. You're going to need contact paper. This is the paper you use in order to lay down your decals. You're also going to need sticker paper. I'm using this shipping label, clear shipping label paper. I don't use this. I think I mistakenly picked this up one day. Or I might have got it for whatever reason. But this is what I'm going to use to print out the album art. And it's Avery 18665. Um, there's also another one, Avery 15665. And that's for laser printers. So if you're buying this, just make sure you get the right one. Because when I bought it, I got the one for laser printer. And it was just not working it was smearing but it's because i had the wrong one i have an inkjet print so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is go to the internet i purchased this svg file from etsy it's only two dollars and fifteen cents it's not much at all so i purchased this file once you purchase it they email you the download link and then you just download it from your email so you're going to need to purchase that file or you can go in and make it manually whatever you choose i didn't want to do that so then you want to go to spotify and you want to search for the song you would like to use the song i'm going to be using today is levels by Naya lamise so what you want to do is you want to copy the link this is going to create the spotify code that you need open a new window search spotify codes i'm going to delete this add in your new link that you just copied and get spotify code and now you see that this pops up now this is the link to the song this is what we will be placing on the music plaque so you just want to change this format to svg and download now that you have that downloaded we can get into the designing of the music plaque open up whatever cutting software you have i'm using silhouette studio once you have silhouette studio open you want to set up whatever you will be using. So I'm using a cut mat and I'm using a 12 by 12 cutting mat. And I'm using a 12 by 12 sheet of decal paper. So you just wanna make sure your settings are correct. I'm then going to just draw a box that is eight by 10. You wanna draw the box to whatever size your glass piece is from your frame. So if you're using a smaller frame, you want to size this box to that sizing. So there we go. And I'm going to change this color to something I'm not using. I'm going to just change it to pink. That's just so I can see what I'm doing. So I can know what it's going to look like on the glass. So now we want to import that downloaded file the music player that you bought from Etsy you want to just import that SVG or DXF if you're using silhouette you can use either of those I'm going to use DXF because it's the one I'm most familiar with and it doesn't come with that background so when you get this you want to just go to modify subtract all and you want to just delete that second circle that just makes it all easier when you're getting ready to cut. 
And I'm gonna make this black because it's gonna be black when we put it on the glass. Then I'm gonna group these together so nothing gets out of whack. So I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste it over here. So then you just wanna size it to your liking or how you want it sized on your glass piece. So this is how large it will be on your glass piece. You just size it to your liking. Okay, I just searched Google in order to find the album art. And I'm just gonna load this in. And just size it to my liking. I kind of think I want it to be a four by four. And to make sure everything's aligned like it would be on the glass, I'm just gonna align it here. And now we want to add our font, the name of the song and the name of the artist. Now, if you do not have this font, the font is called Tommy. I have already downloaded the font. You can just go to the font. Dot com. This is where I get all of my fonts. If you ever see anything I have, this is probably where I get them from. And you just want to type in Tommy. And download this font here. Once you download it, it'll give you a zip file and you can download each weight type font. I already have that font, so I'm going to just type in all the information. And of course, we're going to make her name smaller now I actually want to play around with this a little bit I'm going to ungroup these and move this around a little move that up move this up and I'm going to add the track times in and I'm going to align these two just so it's straight this is what it's going to look like you guys can see it all the way this is what mine would look like when I cut everything out now when you're doing this you don't have to mirror your images you don't have to mirror the words because we're cutting on decal paper and decal paper is not the same as HTV the last part to this is your code so you want to go and open that up from your downloads and just bring it in to your album art and place it where you would like. I'm going to place mine. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to place mine here at the bottom. So if you're in Silhouette and you upload this SVG file, it's going to have this black background. And I want to get rid of the black background. So I'm just going to ungroup this. And just simply delete the black part. And this white part, I'm going to do in a different color. So, that's basically it. Now you want to load your paper into your printer. And simply go to file and print this out. We're only printing this out for the picture. Okay, I have everything pretty much cut out. I had to cut out the dots for the time stamps by themselves because when you're cutting out something small like that, really small circles, sometimes it can be difficult and it may come off. So I'm gonna remove the glass from this frame and I'm just gonna take some sanitizer and a paper towel and wipe it clean. You can use alcohol, you just wanna make sure you get it really clean. Okay, I think that's about as clean as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna add the album art first. Take your time. You just want to use that credit card or your squeegee to remove any air bubbles. Honey, it's not going to be perfect, but it's there. So now I'm going to add the song track information. Once again, just make sure it's all the way down and you want to carefully pull it up. Don't be too rough on it because if you are, you could mess up your letters. See how that wasn't really down?
Dropping gems on the channel. Fuck. Drop, dropping gems on the channel. Fuck. Don't know about that girl. Oop. Okay. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's all done. This is so cute, y'all. I'm loving this for real. And you can actually scan this code. You can actually scan the code. It's cute. Now, I might try to do another one with a different paper because I don't really like this clear looking. It's not clear, but it's clear. So, I might try with a white paper instead. But this still looks good, y'all. I'm loving it for real. So, let me show you guys how the code works. When you go to the Spotify app, you just want to go to the search bar and go to the camera button and show the code in the camera. And it took me straight to Anaya Lamisa's album.